Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this 14th day of July 2020 at about 5 o'clock. And I want to ask uh, Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Mm -hmm. Bow your heads, please. Dear Lord, we just love you so much, and we just uh, we come to you today. It's, uh, there's a lot going on in our country, dear Lord. And more importantly, we just want to lift up those people in our community and the country that are sick right now. And uh, they'll know all the answers, dear Lord, and I, 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 I wish we did. But I just pray that you uh, put your loving arms around these families that are uh, sick, that are ill, that are... You know, they're, they're fearful, dear Lord. You know that they know you're with them, dear Lord, during this time. I just pray that you be with our country. I pray that you be with our leadership, dear Lord, that they can just get along for the our citizens, that uh, they make the right decisions, the ones that affect the uh, people in the, this country, and uh, the ones and uh, give them the correct information, dear Lord, that they can protect themselves. Dear Lord, I ask you be with this county, dear Lord, as we make meetings here tonight, that we make decisions that are... Uh, that are best for this county to grow and to uh, for its citizens. Dear Lord, again, you've uh, been with us this whole time. We just pray that you continue to be with us and uh, uh, comfort us during this time uh, of uncertainty, dear Lord. Uh, and it's your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Uh, gentlemen, you have the uh, uh, minutes from June 9th meeting. I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Count. Is there any discussion, uh, corrections, or additions? Discussion or corrections or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list. I need a mo motion to uh, approve or discuss that. So motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Sam Small. Any discussion on the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list? Just give me a second to go over late list. The two on there, it's, it's the two that I had put was for the fire hydrant we voted to do the last time. Uh, and uh, in phases because uh, it's, it's in parcels. One is to pay for all the materials since we've got them, and the other is for the construction part which is not done we pay them when it's done that hundred and fifty thousand was that from FEMA that you put in uh well it wasn't from FEMA but I had to get the what Scotty's is doing with the rock stockpiling do you know what I'm talking about yes yes I had to get some money up into that line item in order to pay it out of there so what did what, what it come out of the money the FEMA I mean, I just had to get some money from somewhere. To go it's cash, cash, it's cash flow situation. It, it's well, going to end up being out exactly from them on the black top. Went up. Any other questions about the bills, claims, payments, or transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Treasures may uh, financial uh, report. It's June. Is it May or June? It's June. It's June. Wrong on the my copy of the agenda, Dana. Motion, I'll second the motion. Motion by Sam Small, second by Jason Bullock. To acknowledge the acceptance of the treasurer's financial report. Are there any discussion or questions for the treasurer? She is here even though y'all can't see her. And I don't I don't mean by zoom either. I mean there's she's sitting right there in the corner. 
And it's her birthday. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, you look good for 68. Thank you. So, uh, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed like that? Motion carries. Better late than never. And? Yeah. How, how many years? 60. 60. Is the uh, clerk here or anybody from the county clerk's office? Uh, we have to uh, acknowledge the uh, clerk certification for the 2019 taxes. I need a motion for that. Acknowledge. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion on that? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carries. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about the annual bid, specifically the stone. Did you, will, did you do a separate motion for each of those? No. Okay. I need a separate motion for each of them. One for the financials, one for the certification. We just did the financials. So. We did. We did. No, we did. We done two. Yeah. Okay, I didn't get the other one. Well, one, of them was, one of them was Sam and Jason, the other one was Jason and Sam. Yeah, but we didn't do the last one. No, we didn't do the clerk certification. Yeah, we did. I, yeah, they made the motion. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> but we skipped the financials. We, oh, the clerk had to. I'm sorry. We, I made the motion on the certification tax. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I'll, I'll make motion on the other. <laughs> I'll second the financial report. Okay, motion with Sam, second with Jason. Sorry about that. The two lines run together. They look so much alike. Uh, so, uh, any discussion on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed like sign. That, okay, that's two. Uh, we want to talk about the annual bench just a little bit. Uh, we sent a committee uh, consisting of Joe Barnes and Larry Cam to uh, to uh, the name of the rock quarry, Martin Marietta, to talk about our uh, to talk about our process up there. As you remember, the last meeting we rejected all bids on stone. So once you reject all bids, then you're into the you can negotiate that contract so that's what those uh, that's what uh, Joe Barnes and Larry Cowan did and I'm going to ask Larry Cowan to uh, explain it and make a recommendation on that by motion yeah as the uh, judge said we met with them uh, we come to uh, an agreement among all of us they did uh, uh, reduce the price of uh, rock on every one of them and uh, so I think it was a well a well meeting with uh, with uh, Mark Marietta's representative, and uh, I'll entertain a motion then that we accept the bid uh, for the fiscal year July the 1st, 2020 to June the 30th of 2021 uh, to Mark Marietta. I second. Motion by Larry Cowan, second by Larry Morphew. Uh, Miranda, do you have the sheet that you're talking so you can label it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. We're not taking up the ambulance service bid tonight. We're going to wait till the next meeting. And gentlemen, at four o'clock, uh, before the at that evening, we're going to have a meeting with uh, CompCare. And I'd like to. I was on that. I was I was gone last week. So when I tried to talk to Charlie, I couldn't get a hold of him. And then I think there's a situation he can't be here tonight, so I haven't been able to. But in that meeting, I'd like to have uh, Charlie present and uh, maybe Ann at the 4 o'clock meeting. Okay. Good deal. Uh, is anybody welcome? We can't get over a quorum, but I'd like to probably be there, too. Yeah. Uh, no, no, this well, is it, this call, all of us. This is all That's why we're doing it. We're calling us yeah, everybody committee. there. If committee, all of you there on this one. At 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock. At over to comp. No. No, we're going to do it here in the fiscal in the, courtroom. Yeah. Um, next thing I need is I need a short closed session. I do mean short. We get back there. I don't want to get comfortable. Uh, so if you don't mind, gentlemen, could you uh, move to go into closed session? Motion by Larry Cam. Second. We need a number. 
Mr. Personnel. Personnel. Section 315, CDA. Come back into open session here as soon as I can get them in here. I make a motion. We go back in by open session. Second. Uh, they got it. Motion by Sam, second by Larry. All in favor say aye. Uh, I will tell the, for the record we conducted no business. We discussed it, uh, discussed a couple personnel issues, and that was it. Uh, I need a motion upon the recommendation of the uh, wage scale committee to uh, change this classification of a loader and a mo trim from grade two to grade three. So I make motion. Motion by Larry. Will you, will you second Sam? Motion by Larry Count, second by Sam Small. Um, any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Um, I'll sign this. Next, uh, we need a motion to do the uh, adjustments on the four that were... Uh, Affected by this classification. I'll make a motion. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Miranda, they're all laying here. You'll need to pick them up in time. Um this on the agenda it says wages HR was that wasn't that what we just got through doing? Mm -hmm. That all rolled together there. Um, uh, Ohio County Airport Board, Emily Heron, do you want to come make your presentation? So um as you all know, the airport board borrowed some money from you all several years ago, I believe 2016. Emily, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry, it's my fault. You didn't do nothing wrong. I forgot a personnel issue, and that was on the agenda. No, it's just right, going to take a second. Hey, don't sit down. It's going to it's gonna take about a second. Uh, I need to put up a name for a new hire uh, for the uh, golf course. It's a helper that's in the budget, one left. Uh, effective 7 15 2020. Want to hire Julie Small at the rate of 7 25 per hour. Like I said, effective the 15th. That's tomorrow. Is that a full time position? It's a seasonal. Seasonal? Uh, roll call. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? I abstain. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yep, my bad. Johnson? Yes. So that's done. I will sign that and lay it here for one of you to pick up. Now, Emily, I'm sorry about I apologize okay. again. No um, so anyway, like I was saying, um, the airport board borrowed some money from you all several years ago to purchase some fuel. Um, we have not been able to pay that money back because we have barely been bringing in enough revenue to... Uh, pay our bills, but um, because of some stimulus money that we were able to get and uh, a couple of other things, and uh, we do have the money now, so we just wanted to present that to you all tonight um, and go from there. So to pay back the loan in full for four thousand five hundred dollars. I want to Sam and I are both on the airport board, and here's my recommendation tonight. And I talked to Joe about it because he was so he and he was fine with it. But they also, not only the hangar grant, they're going to receive a grant next year for all new lighting, $700,000 plus. They were going to have to come to us and ask for, I think it was a $20,000 match. It would have been a 2.5% match, so it would have roughly been around 20000 Okay, about $20,000. Well, they were able, Emily, the board, was able to find the $20,000, so we wouldn't have to use our money to match that. And we're going to get $700,000 more with the airport. So Sam and I's recommendation is if 
you guys don't mind, to allow them to have that four thousand five hundred dollars to run their airport since you know it saved us twenty thousand dollars by their hard work trying to find that additional money so i make a motion that um, the airport board can have the forty five hundred dollars back i'll second that motion by jason bullock second by sam small is there any further discussion any good, good work yeah good so work. how much money in the last couple of years have you gotten Any great money yeah uh, gosh, let's see. With the T-Hanger project, that's a, about $1.2 million project. Of course, we have the 84000 from you all that we received for that. Um, and then this lighting project is about, going to be about 700000 And then our master plan update, um, that was about a $200,000 project, I believe. So, I mean... That, the last two are going to cost us $4,000. $2 million. $2 million yeah, about two million. A little over two million dollars. Emily, how's the hangar? You notice we got to give them four thousand pounds. That's the same thing. Yeah. Not a bad deal. Yeah. How's the hangers doing? It's going good. We kind of got held up um, because of the land swap that we were having to do with the park. There was a hang up that was basically sitting on somebody's desk at the FAA. Uh, with of course everything going on, it was just kind of not moving. We finally got that through, so I know Bo's been working on that this week. We've got survey yeah. going out there. So um, the, the survey is what we're needing. If so the minute the survey's done, we can proceed and get it yes, done. Yes, and we'll have that done within probably a week or two. Um, but we're we're going ahead and bidding the project out. So our uh, engineer is, is finalizing the plans, the design, and then we'll be bidding out the project and hopefully starting construction within a month or two. So good deal. we're very excited about that. Okay. Sounds good. Good. All in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign? No. Motion carries. Thank you all very much. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll see the report. Jody Ashby, front and tenor. Is she going to say it isn't tenor? That's what I got. Yeah, I said, I said front and center. Oh, I thought you said ten or two. Well, that's better than you thinking I or said. Dinner, I'm getting hey, hungry. I'm, uh, you, or if you thought I said center, that yeah. would be. Were you going to sing bass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sing and happy birthday this morning in B flat note. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update um, because for COVID-19 we were unable to do that. But for Osita, this is the website if you guys haven't seen it. I welcome you to go through it. I can pass this around if you want. I don't know no, if you guys want to scroll through it. Else wants to see it. Um, but the highlights of the website are just some things that I, I kind of jotted down that I'll tell you guys about. It's that uh, it's translatable in nearly 100 languages. So um, anybody, any site selectors all over the world who need to translate the information can do so easily by just clicking right up here and changing it to whatever their language is. So you can see all the Oh, how want to see it? I'll write it. Yep. Yeah. If you don't no, care, Sam. Now, I can only do English, so <laughs> I hope it's in English. <laughs> There's some wording and some things on there that we're going to change, uh, so it's not perfect yet, but it is live. It is there. Yes, you can pull it up on your phone. Yeah. Um, it showcases our livability, our workforce, our available properties, our surrounding resources, and individual uh, landowners and property owners can submit their own property listings on there. You just go on there, click on it, fill out the information, submit your pictures. So anybody with a piece of property that wants to develop it commercially can do so. You can just advertise it right there on our site. That's a bit of a wall coming, but it's it's there and <laughs> it didn't work. What'd you do? Close it out? I was going to X that screen off there. No. You need help? Everything went. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot on here, though. Leave it to me. <laughs> okay, we're sending that in the repair shop. So. Yeah. Well, he broke it, everyone. <laughs> Over 
far as she's showing Larry that, I want to thank you guys on the airport board for all you serving and for all you be showing tonight. That's great. And just to correct a little bit of miscommunication, me and Jason's on the airport committee. committee yeah. yeah. We're not the board. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's so, uh, we're happy to be on the board, but we're not like the board. Yeah. Uh, in, in addition to Emily, Josh Coppock is here. here. Uh, Marty Shepard and Mark Groves all here. We appreciate you for serving. That's okay, Jody. We're good. Well, I've got something else on here. I was going to show you guys too, and it closed it out too. Hey, they should have never put that X on there. You know what I mean? <laughs> One of the Keiko classes I had was uh, uh, we had using uh, computers and laptops, Chromebooks, all that kind of basic. But a good classroom. <laughs> well, I was looking for a back. But I didn't see no back. I'm used to my phone, not a computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do everything with your phone pretty much. Yeah. Hello, Deputy. I missed you sneaking in back here. Thanks for coming. Uh, I will point out the ones you really need to watch. In addition to the website, um, whenever I asked you all for the money um, to support the website, which I'm very grateful for, and I think it's going to help us a lot in this county to develop, um, but I had mentioned at that time that the reason I wanted the fiscal court to pitch into that and not to use all of our marketing money to do that was because I wanted to do our own lead generation so that we could attract our own industries. And so I wanted to show you all that because you all gave us the money to do the website, we were able to do that. This is our lead generation tool. All of these companies are our leads that we get. And I can show you guys the paper copies. It tells me why they would want to come to Ohio County, what they're doing recently, what their products are, who their management is, if there's been a management change, what their financial situation is, where their headquarters is located. It gives me all kinds of information about the company and why the resources around Ohio County would be beneficial to them. And then we reach out to them directly and communicate with them. And we're not just in the pot competing with everyone else who's in the pot whenever you get an RFI. So what, it gives us direct access to them. Were you companies. well satisfied with the, the uh, website? Yes. Yes, it, I'm very satisfied with it. Like I said, it's not completely done yet because we now that it's launched and it's it's good to go, we have to go in and do the updates ourselves. Like we'll have to go in and make sure that the properties that were listed on the old website are still good, you know, that sort of thing. We haven't done that stuff yet. And there's some wording in there that we still want to change after we've reviewed it a few times. But, um, but we have access to do that and uh, the website is there and I, I think it's a great website. So... They did a good job. So, um, also our Zoom prospector, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, probably not, maybe you are, David, but at the Cabinet for Economic Development, they moved over to Zoom prospector to um, advertise local sites for industrial development, and we have access to update that, that site. That gives us the <coughs> unique advantage of showing our labor market area in a radius around a site rather than the borders of Ohio County, which is kind of a struggle that we've, we've dealt with for a long time. And I think I've mentioned that to you guys before. So that is a big thing for us. Um, recent expansions, Ritatsu doubled their production. Dunaway Timber has grown, or they mentioned that they were, so I haven't talked to him in a while. You may know more about that than I do. But um, he told me that he was going to within a few weeks of when I to him last. WPT added 40 new jobs and has some plans for future expansion um, and we could possibly add another 100 jobs to what is what they have planned right now. Um, Kimball recently added some new jobs. Cozy Tyler secured an additional 10 acres for five additional rick houses in Ohio County and that's pretty much the growth that we've seen. So Dossel did um, lay off about 100, but we have made up those jobs in the growth and expansion that we've done over COVID-19. Thank goodness. Most of those jobs paid more 
or within the same range that those people were losing. The ones that we haven't made up necessarily are coal mine jobs. There were 46 of those miners that were from Ohio County, um, and I think they haven't shut down completely still. No. So, uh, so that is in the near future, but we have added quite a few jobs. I hope that that, that has made up for or will make up for that loss as we move forward yeah. in recent times. Uh, 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 not to interrupt, but on the coal thing, it's totally the market. If the coal market comes back, it'll run. The company has made the changes that needs to be made where that it will go ahead and live on. So, uh, past bankruptcy. So that was, uh, uh, I understand that's the way that goes. It's just all now about the coal market. So the OZ Tyler, okay, they purchased us nine additionally, is that right, originally? There was they, 10 originally. Not originally. Originally, not okay. nine acres. And then, yeah. then 10 more, then, then they put 10 on that acreage. Yeah. Okay, so there, there was 19. Now is this five additional on top of that, or is that? Yes. So there's 24 now going to be? No, there was, I don't know about this. Yeah. There was, you said 10. Okay, he means there was oh, 10, and then there was an option for nine more or something Yeah, like the, the gentleman yeah, Mobley Tyler told me nine more. Option. Okay, that's half the acres. option. So, so it's going to be 15 or 14 now. Right. So well, they told me a total of 19. So okay. So well, told me. <laughs> Maybe originally, right now. I hope so. Um, but right now, 15 is what we know okay. about. Um, I would also like to talk to you all in closed session about a, um, a proposal for an industrial project, but we can wait until everybody, the agenda is done if you guys want to do that. Yeah. So that's all I have. Any questions from anybody? You ever need any help on that computer, just call her at the Oh yeah, I will. Especially if there's exits. <laughs> and he's got a great exit plan. He's yeah. got an exit plan to get out of it. Uh, I'm going to need to make some appointments to the uh, uh, airport, I mean, no, not the airport board, library board. And uh, uh, we only get two names to choose from, or I do. And uh, all the judge executives in the county are working, and hopefully when the General Assembly comes back next time, any board appointments will be made by the judges and not from a list they send us. But right now, the way the law is, I have to pick from the names they send us. Uh, I've got uh, uh, the first name I want to put up to you is Mary Pat Donnellan, and I'll need a roll call on that one. Yeah. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. And the next one is Janice Jones. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. So just out of curiosity, and this is maybe for another time, but if we voted them both of the names down, they'll send us two more. Then they have send us two more. Yeah, I didn't. I don't have a problem with any of these folks they sent me at all. It's no, just I mean, a matter of. That. I, yeah. Just, uh, I just you know, don't, don't think it's right. Get them to converse mm -hmm. with you a little more about. Right. It. Yeah, we should. An option. Right. We should be the ones that decide. Plenty of tax money for it. So. Right. Uh, as you know, the library gets more tax money, and we do a fiscal court from the property taxes. About a percent more. Amazing. Uh, How much I, are we getting from those uh, whiskey barrels? It, it's it's a the jury's still out on it because the tax collections this fall will show some. It's, uh, it's based on the number of years that the barrels sit there. The longer so they sit. So it's gonna yeah it's gonna fluctuate by how many barrels they have in there for how long. The value goes in. yeah. yeah. Uh, I got some good ground rule. Yeah, Jason uh, Chen is going to give us a report on that in a couple months. Uh, I want to appoint a new committee, and I'll explain to you why. And then we'll see if there's any other committee reports. Um, the uh, flooding lately, we had some rescues had to be done in the. Uh, Beaverdam and McHenry area, as well as some other areas where people just went out and stalled their car out. 
conventional boats don't work. And in trying to save lives, people, three bit boat owners tore their boat motors up trying to make them work in the Beaver Dam event. And it's been brought to my attention by many that what we need is an a airboat, and that airboat would uh, uh, will go anywhere. It'll go on dry ground if you want to take it there. Uh, it's made out of thick metal, and uh, it's pushed by air, so nothing under the bottom uh, restricts it. And I'm on a point, uh, Larry Cam, Larry Morphew, and uh, Charlie Shields to a committee to bring back and try to get prices and modes maybe to pay for it and how we would operate it and bring that to the court at the next meeting. So that appointment's made. Is there any more committee reports? Uh, did, I, I know you've been to a couple. I've been to a couple, but we didn't really make any decisions. We did meet, um, I did meet with the Animal uh, Control Board. Um, there was just concerns and some things that come up that we didn't really make any decisions. We just talked. And then today, which I wasn't able to make this one, the mental health, uh, they met today at 1030. Uh, so I would tell you our next meeting, but I don't exactly have it yet. They haven't texted me the next meeting okay. uh, concerning. But we're going to continue to meet monthly or maybe bi-weekly up to coming to September. We're supposed to come to September Yes. Uh, I don't know if we decide the first or second board meeting in September and uh, court meeting and discuss what we've talked about. So, but we did meet today. Okay. And maybe some recommendations for something maybe yes. we can do. If it's in a, a small way, there's any way we can help this gigantic problem that we do have. Judge, on these boat prices, were you looking for just uh, one single one single boat? Yeah, that would be used anywhere in the county it needed to go. Try located a central place. Is that something like they have down in Florida or Georgia or yeah. whatever? Where the big, big family. Family. Yeah. yeah. So I was kind of looking. I was looking at them while we there talked. There are a few in this county already. Oh, really? Uh, that are privately owned. There uh, very much could be uh, possibly a deal worked out with them. In case of emergency situation, sure. have access to that. Yeah. You know that might be a. Another option. option instead of us having to store one and keep it up and and depending on the price too, I don't imagine like everything else. It's uh, everything costs now. Yeah, and, and you know, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of upkeep. I really don't know. But, uh, you know, Sam, if you would, would you get a get a list of those names and uh, I'll give you the one I know. Okay. And, and after the meeting, I'll, I'll give the okay. Sounds you, good. Are there any other uh, committee reports? Uh, being none, we'll do the magistrate's comments and requests, and then we'll do another closed session for uh, Jody to tell us about this business. So, uh, Sam. I uh, really don't have a whole lot. I uh, do want to thank everybody for uh, following the guidelines. They kind of stink, but, you know, <coughs> if I can breathe through one, everybody else can through for the time being. And, and also, I wanted to wish. And a happy birthday again. Thank you. And uh, that's all I have, Judge. Jason. And you know, and the mind's kind of along the same lines of nothing, but just you kind of lift, I want to lift up the, you know, the thoughts and prayers to the signature health and the families there. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, just, I don't know the answer, but I was pray everything that works out for all those people. Yes. Uh, I know every effort's been made to make that, to be as good an outcome as it can be. Larry? Uh, Judge, just echoing that. I hope it gets better before it gets worse. Yeah, me too. Larry? I'd uh, like to maybe talk to Scotty to see when they're going to do the blacktop because if they don't get started, it'd be like a couple of years ago that we'd be left out. Yeah, see, that's why I thought we went ahead and so yes. ahead. And he said he's going to get right on us, but in July, that's yeah. kind of, he was wanting to be. He's wanting to beat it, yeah. That's why we went ahead and accepted Are we talking about the house bill money now? Yes. Oh, yeah, they've already, they've already blacktopped them. District. Now, now, right now, the uh, I'll tell you on the on the uh, Not surprised. flex. <laughs> here's what's happened on the flex. Uh, the flex was sent here to Frankfurt. They sent it to District Two. District Two completed it and took it back to Frankfurt. 
So we call them every few days. I'm going to make sure that I call them tomorrow even. Uh, I'm going to call them tomorrow. Well, at least they've started then. I haven't. I was Because they did talk about starting in January, I mean July. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't covered the, what was needed in the county or what yeah. we had agreed on to. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. In my end. We they could uh, we got your end done. And mine, mine's kind of, but I just, I'm glad to do it. On the initial ones. On the and, uh, we applied for yeah. for the early. Now they've done mm -hmm. so. And Sam, since it's your uh, your uh, uh, representative on the OC the board, would you make the motion for us to go in close session and talk to Jody about this industry she's going to tell us about? Yeah, I'll make a motion. We go in close session to talk about uh, this industry. Do I need to name anything, Justin? It just preparing for business. Let it record. Second, second Sam motion. Okay. Did you get it, Miranda? Okay. We're in closed session for, I hope, for a very short time. I make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second by Sam Small to go back into open session. My gosh, we've lost all our... Everybody okay with that? Say aye. Aye. Hope's like sign. Uh, the next item on the agenda is, I'm going to call this meeting adjourned. Right. So we'll see y'all in a couple you. weeks. Remember, four o'clock for the next meeting. Yes. Uh, four o'clock for the next meeting.